Welcome. I'm Mark Anna. Is this the world's coolest Apple store or just marketing hype? Let's jump in and see. July 31st, 2020, in Bangkok, the Apple Central World store opened, where 130 team members speak 17 languages to welcome customers. Store. It's shaped like a spaceship on the outside. And there's some interesting details. This is one of the largest Apple stores in the world. And according to someone whose opinion I trust, who's been around, this may be the nicest Apple store in the world. Look at the woodwork here. Wow. This is just too freaking cool. I am here to buy something now, not just take pictures. Hi, welcome to Apple Store. Sorry, Ka. <laughs> How can I help you? I am looking for a couple of things. I, my name is Mark. What's your name? My name is Oishi. Nice to meet you, Mark. Oishi. <laughs> you too. <laughs> Do a little you too. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh, I'm looking for a couple things. I'm looking for air tags. Air tag. I'm looking for a charger magnet for my watch yes. and a charger magnet for my phone. Ah, okay. Show me around. Since the audio was a little poor due to the fact that it was so loud in the Apple store, uh, the floors are granite. All that wood going up to the ceiling and the way it's shaped, amazing workmanship, but it also creates a lot of echoes. Now, Oishi took me around and showed me the detail in this place. The first thing you have to look at is that wood that comes all the way up through the center of the building, like this giant UFO tree made out of wood. But the attention to detail, every piece of that wood had to be carved and steamed and bent at multiple angles because of the way it's shaped. Now he's going to take me over to the elevator. This elevator's round and the doors are stainless steel, but they're polished to, to look like mirrors. I mean, it was unbelievable the amount of polish that had to be done to get that kind of look. But if you notice how the crack in the door comes down where the two doors are going to open, Soon here, you're going to see a video shot where when that comes down to the floor, it goes straight down to where the granite tiles are put together and the lines line up perfectly. And then when it goes across the floor, it lines up with the column and it lines up with, with chrome pieces. Everything in this building, every piece of alignment. Now, you're looking at the wood here. But this wood has compound angles. Amazingly hard to work with. Now this elevator was a little bit disorienting because getting into a round elevator with this round shape on the outside, it was sort of weird. Uh, it, was, it was amazing, it was so quiet, and of course, you know, it was excellent. But now if you notice how that chrome pole is right in front of you and you see how the the line from the inside of the elevator goes straight up to to intersect the center of the pole which intersects the center of that wood that's down now on the lower level now this is only the second level there's three levels in this floor but now these steps that they have they are granite steps, and you notice he's showing me how the lines line up 
from the center of the pole, the lines on the granite line up with the lines in the ceiling and the lines in the display case. The, uh, the granite steps here that he's going to point out, they're wrapped in one piece of polished stainless steel that looks like a mirror. And then the granite has been carved and inset in the granite are stainless steel polished pieces, those straight lines there that go across. The workmanship here, <laughs> off the charts. I mean, wow. I'm sure that the labor in, in uh, Thailand is less than what the labor would be like in a lot of Western co countries, but you have to find some pretty skilled craftsmen to pay this kind of attention to the detail and get everything right. Even the tables that they sell off of are in perfect alignment with everything. Nothing's out of place. Nothing's crooked. Uh, it's just really state of the art. Now, Oshi, after he sold me the items I was looking for, he gave me the royal tour here. And uh, I guess, to be honest, I don't think this is marketing hype. They spent a ton of effort and money on the display in this location. And it is huge. It's the largest Apple store I've ever seen. But more than just being large, it's uh, most Apple stores are just down a mall somewhere and they take an empty space. They put a bunch of tables in it, arranged in squares. He's showing me the watches. And that's what it is. And it's terribly efficient. This is so much more than that. This is an experience to go check out even if you're not buying anything. Uh, by the way, it was less expensive to buy Apple products here than in the United States, partially because of the strength of the U.S. dollar. But as a tourist, I also filled out a form, which I'll show you a picture of. And when I leave the country, I show this to the agent, he said, and I get a refund of the taxes I normally pay here, which is equivalent to a little more than 5%. So it was not only less expensive, but I'll get the 5% taxes back. Now the question. Is this the coolest Apple store in the world? I don't know, but it's the coolest one I've ever seen. They went the extra mile just for cool factor. Thanks for watching. Stop on back now.